Det der en bil her. Yes, no, the Nokia's fine. Yes, he, da, 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 da. Well, just do what you have to. Well, haggle then. Okay, you're going to have to forgive me for keeping this brief, and you're going to have to forgive me if I seem a little bit distracted, but they are hot on our heels. They're after us again. That's right. The Mongolians, but this time they are in cahoots with the North Koreans. You know who was at the stadium for the last game and he was furious, not just with his own players, but with Nom and I for masterminding a victory that embarrassed his nation on the international stage. So we got a call from Joe Wang Miller at the end of the game, who was back at the team's hotel. He said the place is surrounded by soldiers and they're ready to arrest you and hand you back to the Mongolians who will transport you back to that labor camp. Well, Norm had a look in his eye like I've never seen before. There's no way he's going to go back there without a fight. So we just went on the run. We just had the clothes that we were stood up in. Thankfully for me, that was this Nathan Tekapua t-shirt that he'd lent me. How mighty fine it looks as well. But for Nom, it was just his wrestling gear that he insists on wearing for every international game that we play. So we're going to try and make it to the border. I don't know how Nom's just gone into a convenience store to try and purchase a burner phone and a couple of curly whirlies. He wanted a couple for the journey, but we're going to stop in at the International Stadium as we go because we've got a game this afternoon and what a game it is. Results have transpired that in this last fixture, if we win it and we win big, well, the unthinkable happens. It was a miracle qualifying Northern Mariana for a fourth competitive game of international football, but a 4-0 win today and we qualify for a seventh. Now that, my friends, is Island Dreams. Come on, Nom, let's go! Okay, the fact that we've managed to get ourselves to the third game of the second phase of qualifiers for the East Asian Championships and still have a chance of topping the group is quite frankly incredible here's how it got to this stage after our 3-2 win over North Korea which let's remind ourselves is the biggest result we have ever had they have players that are worth huge amounts of money they have players that are professionals across Asia they have players that are eye-watering compared to what we can serve up and we beat them 3-2 well Straight after that result, Hong Kong then went and beat Chinese Taipei 3-1. That lifted Hong Kong onto six points because they also defeated us. But then, earlier today, North Korea won 1-0 against Hong Kong, leaving them both on six points and us on three. Now, our goal difference is not great. We are on minus one whilst they are on three. So we're going to have to win today against Chinese Taipei, which is no mean feat, by the way. Chinese Taipei have got players that are well in advance of what we can put out onto a football field. But if we are able to beat them, and if we beat them 4-0, then that will push us onto six points as well, give us a goal difference of plus three, but will also give us more goals scored with seven than both North Korea and Hong Kong. So, look, this is not going to happen. Beating Chinese Taipei by four clear goals, it's a miracle beyond what even we did in the North Korea game. But hey, just to go into this third game with something on the line is in itself a huge achievement. So here's what we're going to put out there. We're going for a mixture of freshness, and playing a couple of the players that have just been pivotal in our run of good form so far. So we're bringing in Rosala, Edwin Reluccio, Kirk Rosora is coming back. So she's nice and fresh. We're bringing back Ajani Duenas. Hopefully we'll get some set-piece goals. We're bringing uh, back in Brian Unser, who came as a sub in the last game. Jem Reluccio is going to be fresh. But we're keeping Sloop John B and... The new hope for Northern Mariana football, Jeffrey Belcher, six international goals at the age of just 16. And we're going to send the boys out there and see if the greatest miracle, not just in international football, but since people started kicking a round object around on grass, that there has ever been. I mean, we've beaten Chinese Taipei in a friendly earlier in the year, but only 2 0, and it was an even game. So this is an impossible dream but that's why we're here that's why the series is called island dreams we've got to 
got to dream big. Um, we're going to say, just go out there and impress me. That's worked with a few of them. We're going to tell the rest of them that we've got faith. This could all be very anticlimactic. I mean, this is not Guam we're talking about. This is not Mongolia. This is not Macau. This is Chinese Taipei. They have got players, professional players. Oh, but imagine if we were to do something. An early goal would be fantastic. We're in our changed kit today. We've got a ball into the box, but they've cleared it and they are running at us. We need to get our challenges in. Oh, they've got in round the back of us early. We're only in the fifth minute and we've given away a penalty in the fifth minute. Okay. Well, we got lucky against North Korea. Can we get lucky again? Oh, nuts. <laughs> it's still coming though. Oh, nuts. has got the double save. Oh, is it a day for heroes? Is it? We're going to demand more early though, because we've given them a penalty in the fifth minute and we've not even had a shot yet. Oh, goodness me. What a start to the game. What a start for the Hobbit Hobin Nutzel. We've had four shots now, three on target, but we've not had a highlight. And we need to win by four clear goals. This is not going to be enough for us. A point's no use. A win's no use. It's got to be by four clear goals and we have not mustered a highlight in that whole first half. And Chinese Taipei are coming at us again. They've lost both their games so far. So they're looking to avoid the embarrassment of going home pointless. Get in there. Dwayne Ass has won it. Give it to one of the quick ones. Look how slow he is tiptoeing forward like a bag full of ferrets and he fires it against their keeper. Goodness me, are we going to have to set piece though? Because Ajani can take him. Get on the end of it. Oh, 1 0. On the stroke of half time, it's Daniel Rosala. Oh, he's only six foot one. He's in, in place of Norm Reluccio. Dale loans up there at six foot six, but he's gone to the back post. And the set pieces work. The spirit of Tekapua, his boy Ajani, slung the corner in. We're 1 0 up. We need three more. We need three more. I know you're capable of even better. I think we've got to go attacking. I mean, we may as well lose this 5-1 as win it 3-0. Goodness me. Okay, who's not playing well? Jeffrey Belcher is on a 6.5 and he is very tired. We have got strikers on the bench, but I think we might need to go three up top in the second half. So we're off. Kick off highlight. Goodness me. Goodness me, we weren't expecting to even get a point at this second phase of qualifiers. Beating North Korea was an absolute shock. Imagine if we can pull this off, but we're not looking very good, are we? We're 1-0 in the lead, but we're not looking anything like convincing or scoring again. Can we thump the ball over the top for one of our quick players to run onto? We've done just that. Here he goes. We know he's got the pace. We know he can't finish. He's got it on target, to be fair to him. And while we're barely a minute played, we're in set piece territory again. They've got it away and don't let them counter on us. Come on. Hunt him down. Goodness me. The highlight continues. There it is. It peters out. Okay, we're going to have to... We're going to demand more again. That's pressurised Edwin Reluccio. Oh, once this tournament's over, if we're out, well, we at least get to go away, play the rest of the season and get another batch of youth intake players. We need a left back. Oh no, that's disaster. Oh, who's done that? Don't be Edwin Reluccio. It's a Johnny Duenas. It's a Johnny Duenas. No. What a terrible, terrible error. Ajani, what are you thinking there? Oh my goodness, goodness me. What on earth was he thinking? Okay. Um, okay, no, we're gonna go Ajani Dwayne Ass. We're going attacking. Juanito, you're coming on, son. And we are going to go with We're going to go with Brad Camacho on for 
What's the fitness? Dale Lone is breathing out of his backside. We're going three up front. We're going one center half. We're going deep line forward. What else can we put on that might help us? We're going to go more direct with higher tempo. We're going to push the line up a touch, but that is absolute suicide. But we need four goals in 35 minutes. It's not going to happen. I don't know why I keep repeating these things like it's a, it's a possibility. We don't have good players. There we go. They have gone over the top. Nutzel saves us. Goodness me. Come on. Get creative. Can we defend a set piece? Can we counterattack? Can we at least win the game? Get after it, Hook. Come on. You're fresh, supposedly. God, he's ambling around up there. Here's General Lucho. Highlights continuing. Jen's going to try and get a ball into the box. Oh, goodness me. He's stumbled. He's given it away twice. <laughs> never work with animals or children. Certainly never call children up to an international football team. Okay, highlights again. We've still got half an hour to play. A couple of goals. It could at least be exciting. Goodness me, they are... Running through at will. Oh, Nutzel. <laughs> when have we ever seen Hobin Nutzel have a good game? But he saved a penalty and a couple of absolute point-blank reflex stops to keep us in the game. To keep the Highland dreams alive. Get it away. We have done. Let's just remind ourselves. We were to score another four goals. Just saying. We'd set up games against Japan, South Korea, and China. As a team of amateurs, oh, Belcher, he was offside, but he should have tucked that away. Finishing of six, Jeffrey Belcher is not playing well. We're going to go for the fresh legs of Dave Tiamzon. When you need goals, who do you call? The man who's not scored one for three years, and I don't think... I don't think it's going to happen. Here they come at us. We've at least won the header. Come on. Nathan Aninzo has been quiet today. He is quite quick. He's got pace of 12. You wouldn't know it from this run, but he does. He's given it to Brad Camacho. That's a terrible ball. Is that offside? It's not offside. It's 2-1. Three goals to go. Hey, we're winning the game again. We should not be winning these games. Aninzo, Camacho, little touch off. That's a good finish. Bogdan. God, wouldn't it help us as well if he could get this move to Texas and become a professional footballer? That in itself would be something to lift the spirits. When we started this series, we thought if we ever qualified for a fourth competitive game, we'd play it, get humiliated, and then that would be it. Nope, 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 nope. The whole nutsel's there again, but now we're here. And we are building the nation a little bit. I think we've turned out to be a little bit more competitive than, than we first thought. If we hadn't have thrown away that result against Hong Kong, as the whistle goes, we'd have been qualifying. And I am now quite smitten with the idea of sending out a team of amateurs to play against Japan, South Korea and China. So let's see the final standings. Here's our squad. Um, we've gone out, but we've not been disgraced. So we've gone out on goal difference. Um, we scored five, but we conceded five. We've got a goal difference of zero, but we've got six points in the second phase. North Korea have gone through. Maybe that will help pacify their leaders. And maybe Nomini might just be able to skulk off into the sunset unnoticed. But I don't know how the rest of you are feeling. I feel like I've got the stomach for one more go at this. We'd have to get past Guam, Macau and Mongolia again. Qualify for another fourth game. But I think two years time we might be able to come back stronger. Let me know in the comments whether you think that this is just a futile fool's errand or whether there might just be hope that if we carry on 
we might be able to carry on building and maybe create another miracle. Thank you for everybody that's watched, everybody that's liked. Thank you for everybody that's subscribed. Check out the descriptions as always. We're going to put links in there to other content creators that are making videos about FM20 that you might enjoy. We're going to go away. We're going to have a little think. We're going to absorb your comments and see what you think as well and decide whether we're going to carry on trying to live the island dream.